If you're like me, then playing Tarkov is a bit of a terrifying experience. <laughs> <laughs> but I found that it's a lot less scary if you raid at night with some night vision. I know that sounds a little counterintuitive, but when it's not broad daylight, there's a much lower chance of you getting sniped when you're out in the open. <gasps> However, when the in-game time is at around 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., it's daylight on both raid times. So a night raid is simply not possible. So what I usually do is run factory to kill some time. I also still have the stir up task from Skier, which requires you to kill PMCs with a pistol. So I loaded in with a Stetchkin APS. Now this is by no means a meta gun. It's essentially a bigger full auto version of the Makarov, aka the PM, which is the gun you start the game with and it's a piece of garbage. The APS is a different beast though sporting a 20 round mag, a wire stock that can be stolen from the APB, and a fire rate of... I would let this thing fuck my wife. Just remember to set it to full auto when you load into the raid. Not setting my gun to full <sighs> auto earlier meant that I was already mangled in the first minute of the raid. two blacked out limbs, and my stomach was torn to shreds. I didn't have any surgery kits either, so it was only a matter of time before my hydration and energy levels hit zero, and I started losing health. So I had to make things quick. I was mowing down scabs and PMCs one after the other but there was a lot more left on the map. With my ammo reserves running dry, I had to rely on scavenged weapons from this point on. There was so much action that I completely forgot about my energy and hydration. And now both were at zero, and that meant I was losing health fast. But after killing so many scavs and PMCs, I couldn't leave their loot behind. I scrambled through bags and pockets, desperate for high value items, but at the same time I had to constantly heal myself. I managed to find some drinks, but with no surgery kit in sight, it just drained out of the holes in my stomach. The raid timer counted down closer to zero, and it was still chaos in the factory. So I couldn't just walk out the way I came. I had to do something drastic to escape. Then I remembered that you could jump from here onto the blue container, and from there it's a straight shot to the gate 3 exit. I've seen plenty of streamers make that jump easily, so it shouldn't have been a problem. Am 
Everybody falls the first time. I didn't build up enough speed and now both my legs were blacked out and the impact sound alerted any players in the area of my whereabouts. I healed what I could and made my way towards the extract. But then I heard someone else in the staircase. I got a lucky headshot when I panic fired. I didn't dare check his body in case there was someone right behind him. I made my way towards the extract and tossed a frag in the second room for good measure. And I was home free.